Let's go back to our multi-state object for all the cities. Bring up object states. Let's select Seattle. We're going to zoom up on this. And what I want to do here is create an animation inside of each one of the individual states. So very similar to what we did on the gallery page, we can have our photos and captions animated. Here we can create animations, but in addition, we're going to use the timing panel to control the timing of the animations within the state, which is within the multi-object state. So to do that, first, let's double click on the background gray box. With our background gray box selected, let's come up to animation. Let's choose fade in. Let's come back out. Let's double click inside the multi-state object. Grab the photo, hold shift, select the text, animation. We'll choose fade in for these two as well. So now we can see that each of the items inside of our grouped object for our city's details slide has the photo has an animation, the type has an animation, and the overall gray box container has an animation. Let's open up the timings panel. The first item we selected was the rectangle. We want this to play first. Next we have the JPEG in the text. I'm going to hold the command key or control in Windows. I'm going to multiple select those two items and group these two. So the first thing that will happen is the rectangle will play and then the theaters JPEG and text will play at the same time. Let's test this. Let's choose preview. Select Seattle. Background fades and then the type in the photo. So we get a much softer and smoother experience than the other ones which just pop up. 